Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's keep on walking by faith as we let's sing that as we go into the scripture today. Keep on walking by faith. Just keep on walking by faith. I know he won't deny me. He's walking right beside me. Keep on walking by faith. Just keep on walking by faith. Just keep on walking by faith. I know he won't deny me. He's walking right beside me. Keep on walking by faith. Just keep on walking by faith. Just keep on walking by faith. I know he won't deny me. He's walking right beside me. Keep on walking by faith. Give the Lord a hand praise today. Hallelujah. Thank God. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we are going to open our Bibles to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3. We're going to take one verse here to obtain our title for the message. And then we have a number of places to go in the scripture. This is one of these times where the Lord bothered me all night again. And it's good to be bothered by the Lord. Because it's really no bother. <laughs> Amen. But I'm just saying he was, uh, all night long I would be waking up and I'd hear these words, the title of the message, which I'm not telling you yet, but uh, you'll get it in a moment. But all night long. And so here we are. Let's see what happens with this. Before I even read a verse, however, I'd like to ask for the Lord's help. Because I know very well, boy do I know it, that without him we can do nothing. And I think we all need to come to that realization. We're helpless without him. And we live in a crooked, perverse world. We need the guidance of God all the time. So, shall we call upon him? Father in heaven, we are here today humbly approaching thy throne, O God, by thy own invitation, for which we thank thee. And I pray, Lord, now that thou wouldst help us as we reach out to thee, that as we open our Bibles, we'd also open our hearts. And I pray that by thy spirit thou wouldst come into this place, take complete control, O God. We look for thee, the God of miracles, the God of our salvation, the shepherd of our souls, and I pray that thou wouldst help us as we reach out to thee. We know that thou art here. We feel thy presence. We can hear thy voice resonating in our hearts. We enter these pages, O Lord, of thy word in faith. And I pray now that thou wouldst speak to us from heaven. O God, that thou wouldst lead and guide and direct us in thy perfect way. Let Satan be bound, rebuked, and cast out, and made powerless in thy holy presence. And let thy presence abide with us always. And we ask now that thou wouldst give us ears to hear and help us to respond, O Lord, in complete obedience unto thee. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1, the word of God tells us, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Of course, Eli was the priest in that temple. And the word of the Lord was precious. Hear this now. The word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. No open vision. That's the title of our message today. No open vision. And as I begin to consider this, the Lord showed me the very condition of our church world today. And how true it is, once again, as it was back here, so it is right now, with all of the churches and the organizations, and all that they're doing, there is no open vision. And I sought the Lord on this, and I wondered, why is this? 
Why are people so dead wrong about so many things? 